Hi guys, I am Ganesh Thakur. Welcomes you all on channel ABT Gurukul. In this video, we will discuss about Havana syndrome and what does the latest report say about the mysterious illness. So first, please like this video and share it with your friends. Subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of our new video. You may follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter ID link is given in the video description box. Before we proceed further, here is a question for you. You must write your answer in comment box. The question is: Havana city is the capital of which country? So comment your answer. We look forward to your reply. Now come to the topic. Nearly four years after a mysterious neurological illness referred to as Havana syndrome started to afflict American diplomats and intelligence operatives in Cuba, China, and other countries, a report by the National Academies of Sciences, that is NAS, has found directed microwave radiation to be its plausible cause. Interestingly. Neither the State Department nor the FBI have publicly pointed to microwave weapons as being the cause of the syndrome, whose symptoms include nausea, dizziness, fatigue, and cognitive difficulties. So let's see what is Havana syndrome. In late 2016, U.S. diplomats and other employees stationed in Havana. Reported feeling ill after hearing strange sound and experiencing odd physical sensation in their hotel rooms or homes. The symptoms included nausea, severe headache, fatigue, dizziness, sleep problems, and hearing loss, which have since come to be known as Havana syndrome. In all. More than two dozen American diplomats and members of their families in Cuba and China, and at least 14 Canadian citizens in Havana reportedly have experienced similar symptoms. While the symptoms have resolved for some of the affected employees, for others, the effect have lingered and posed a significant obstacle to their work and affected normal functioning of lives. So. Let us try to understand the NAS report and what has the NAS report said on the Havana syndrome. The NAS report, titled "An Assessment of Illness in U.S. Government Employees and Their Families at Overseas Embassies," by a committee of 19 experts in medicine and other field, examined four possibilities to explain the symptoms: one, infection. Two chemicals, three psychological factor, and four microwave energy. The expert examined the symptoms of about 40 government employees. The report concluded that directed pulsed RF energy appears to be the most plausible mechanism in explaining these cases among those that the committee considered. By calling it directed and pulsed energy. The report leaves no room for confusion that the victim's exposure was targeted and not due to common source of microwave energy such as a mobile phone. The more chronic problems suffered by Havana personnel included mainly vestibular processing and cognitive problems as well as insomnia and headache. The report mentions The report also warn about the possibility of future episodes and recommend that the State Department establish a response mechanism for similar incidents. So, how did this study come about, and what have previous studies said? So far, the 77-page NAS report provides the clearest and detailed estimation of what may have transpired over the years. The FBI. CIA, US military, National Institute of Health and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have investigated the incidents without coming out with anything conclusive. Some scientists even peddled theories like psychological illness due to the stressful environment of foreign missions. 
a 2019 US academic study found brain abnormalities in the diplomats who had fallen ill besides a medical team that examined 21 of those affected in Cuba did not mention microwave weapons in a study published in the journal of american medical association that's it in this video we will come back soon with a new topic like share and subscribe our channel stay with us thanks for watching jai hind